mind platter. You are the sun. For them to see you shine, you must stay far away. For you are just like the sun. When you are too close, your light makes them blind. And when you are too far, they seek you. So let them seek you. They're getting your light regardless. But appreciating your presence is different from recognizing your existence. If they don't appreciate your presence, they may never even recognize your absence. Power. Respect the freedom that you were born with. But that, you've denied yourself. Break free from the power that power has over you and believe in your own beliefs. Rest your heart. Your heart is precious, so take care of it. It may be able to forgive unconditionally, but don't exhaust it by surrounding yourself with those who constantly do you wrong. It may have an infinite capacity for patience, but don't exhaust it by surrounding yourself with those who don't value your time. Think of me too. If you want me to listen to you, respect that I can hear. If you want me to speak to you, respect that I have a voice. If you want me to look at you, respect my ability to see. Do you know how to do that? Listen to me when I talk. Talk to me when you hear me. And look at me when I look at you. Share me not only your sadness, but also your happiness. If I can bear hours of your sadness, believe me, it's because I would like to see days of your happiness. Depend on me. If you respect that I am worthy of your trust, open your heart to me. If you respect that I am worthy of your love, let the mask fall off. I appreciate the genuine effort over a fake attempt to gain my trust. The clouds overtake the sky for a little while, but the sun always strikes through. Stay true to yourself. Don't worry about what people think of you or about the way they try to make you feel. If people want to see you as a good person, they will. If people want to see you as a bad person, absolutely nothing you do will stop them. Ironically, the more you try to show them your good intentions, the more reason you give them to knock you down. Keep your head up high and be confident in what you do. Be confident in your intentions and keep your eyes ahead instead of wasting your time on those who want to drag you back. Because you can't change people's views. You have to believe that true change for yourself comes from within you, not from anyone else. Broken wings. Don't break a bird's wings and then tell it to fly. Don't break a heart and then tell it to love. Don't break a soul and then tell it to be happy. Don't see the worst in a person and expect them to see the best in you. Don't judge people and expect them to stand by your side. Don't play with fire and expect to stay perfectly safe. Life is about giving and taking. You cannot expect to give bad and receive good. You cannot expect to give good and receive bad. Does it happen? Yes. But don't make that an excuse for you to keep doing what you know is wrong. Don't blame life for what you do. This is so selfish and ignorant on your behalf. Be sought. Whatever you do, do it with purpose. Being focused is not something to be ashamed of, it is something to be proud of. When you know what you are doing and have a clear vision of where you are going, you will not need to chase opportunities. Opportunities will seek you, happiness will chase you, and instead of being a choice, you will be the one choosing. Respect me. Own my heart with your respect. Free me from your deceit. Captivate me with your honesty. Rid me of your uncertainty. Challenge me with your thoughts. Enslave me with your genuineness. Impress me with your spontaneity. Treat me right and I will treat you better. Keep me away from what I don't deserve and I will bring you closer to what you deserve. Respect me. Be honest with me. I will give you nothing but multiples of that in return. Be considerate. Be considerate of others before you expect them to be considerate of you. Don't freeze time and isolate events in the desire to give yourself the right to blame others for not treating you with whatever you define as right. The grand scheme of things, it is possible, it is probably, 
your perception that needs to change think before you speak and reap what you sow don't ever seek refuge in people for if you do they will fail you sooner or later but if you seek refuge in and forgiveness from a power much greater than yourself you will not be turned away and your eyes will be open to the right right take responsibility don't rely on others to make your life better you may seem like a puzzle piece that fits nicely into their plans at one point but what happens if they change their minds so be it you have a mind to lead you by logic and a heart to lead you by reason you choose your fate by taking responsibility and by taking the lead in your life don't make yourself part of others plans make your own plan and be part of it an ironic reward for a beautiful heart beautiful hearts are hard to find and to reward them when we do find them we convince ourselves that they are too good for us what a reward instead of holding on to them we pull ourselves away we forget that the beauty of their hearts come from their ability to love and from their willingness to liberate those whose hearts have caged themselves in the past feel me i can point you towards the sky but i can't make you reach for the stars i can show you the moon but i can't make you feel its beauty or appreciate its light i can show you the pathways that you can take but i can't make you walk down them i can extend my hand to help you but i can't make you hold it back i can tell you the truth but i can't make you believe it i can tell you how i feel but i can't make you care lifelong learning if you think that education only takes place in an institution think again as long as you breathe your mind your heart and your soul are seeking knowledge to so respond to them and nurture their needs ask questions and keep your life dynamic knowledge is not necessarily confined to a specific subject area knowledge is what drives your life and makes it meaningful so unless the institution you are referring to is the institution of life education does not confine itself to the limits of any institution it extends its wings into every aspect of your life so what are you waiting for start flying take the lead you choose how your life is going to be don't let anyone make decisions for you unless they have got your head on their neck and your heart in their chest be a leader a leader of your own life and don't get yourself to a point where you realize that you are on a road that is not your own and no leadership does not mean that you have to be popular or have people following you being a leader is about leading your own mind's logic and leading your heart's reason be cognizant of the decisions that your mind and heart make and your life will be much more meaningful and rewarding change you can draw a path for your life and have all of your goals set you can change yourself as much as possible and change things around you just to reach those goals here's the catch never underestimate the power of fate it can knock down the highest of goals that may seem guaranteed in your life plan yes and decide yes and be prepared for plans not to work if they don't work despite your hardest efforts there must be a reason you may not be able to see the reason at that time but you will one day maybe even years later did your efforts go to waste then yes they do go to waste even after changing yourself and your surroundings for the sake of reaching that one goal you may realize that it was waiting for you at the place where you started when you were the true you who did not need to change or be changed change for yourself not just for a goal be honest with me don't tell me what i want to hear tell me the truth it may hurt but it definitely won't hurt more than the feeling that i was told something out of pity not out of honesty if you mean it say it if you don't keep your words until the right person is standing in front of you if words are said too many times they become cheap and i only deserve to hear what is valuable the way they treat you have you ever been told to treat people 
the way they treat you well don't do that treat them better than they treat you if a person's bad action makes you do the same how can you say that you are any better if a person discourages you from doing your own good encourage him or her to do what's for his or her own good remember you don't have to listen to them but you also don't have to answer them back in their own tone if a person disrespects you react to him or her with respect learn from the best don't compare yourself by looking down always look up to those who struggled yet still inspired their worst enemies simplicity is the key we often fail to see beauty in the simplest things in life a smile a fresh breeze of air a full moon a sky full of stars a simple act of kindness an inspirational conversation a childhood memory a mother's kiss these are the things that make life beautiful because they will always be there as a reality or a living memory these simple things do not have a price attached to them unlike the things we strive for nowadays that we think will make us happy when we fail to appreciate simplicity we fail to see and appreciate the most beautiful and important things in our lives when we fail to appreciate simplicity we fail at being truly happy reason why am i doing what i am doing ask yourself this question when you want to do anything diamonds placed in the wrong setting are worth nothing So if your time and energy are put towards no purpose you're not moving anywhere. If you are not working towards the real purpose of your own then you probably are working towards the goal of someone else. Ask yourself, why am I doing this? It's a simple question that can save you valuable time and effort. Don't make spontaneous decisions unless the why is spontaneously answered in your heart. The minute you spend to answer that why could save you years of purposeless waste of time priorities hold on to those whom you love very tightly love them back respect them cherish every moment you spend with them and make them smile do not let a stressful day get in the way of spending the right time the right way on the right people it's a balance that you can and must try to make every day worth living don't let the day come when you will regret not doing this life passes by as fast as the sun sets and as fast as the night turns into day don't let life pass you by fill it with love that you have in your heart and it will bounce right back care for my soul your soul communicates with the people around you it sends out signals in different ways through your eyes the way you talk the way you walk the way you move your hands even the way you sit some people will pick up on those signals and interpret your feelings based on them and they will not notice any difference if they do then they have got the key to your heart if they don't then they have much to learn about you if you can look into my eyes and understand how i feel then you've got the key to my heart if you can know that the slightest change in my voice means that i'm happy sad frustrated amazed irritated or sad then you're close to me because you are close to my soul and you can understand the way that it is expressing itself your soul can communicate with mine understand mine care for mine therefore i will care for yours Don't be shallow. What is the point of a diamond dangling on a heartless chest or on a deaf ear or on an ungenerous heart? What is the point of loving people for the way that your eyes see them, not for who they really are on the inside? Don't be the one who gets fooled by an egg dipped in gold. At the first obstacle, its beautiful covering shatters and all that is left is nothing that will please your eyes. Use your eyes to see into people's hearts not the way that they make their hearts appear contentment have you ever seen a thirsty ocean or air grasping for breath has it ever seemed that the sky wanted to stretch out more or that rainbow wanted more colors before you ask for something look at what you already have don't ask for more than you need don't let your want replace your need because a day will come when you will lose what you need to get what you want 
the power of silence silence can hold more meaning than words it has power to make a heartless person love and an innocent victim hate it is much more powerful than words because it takes effort to keep it is not only about closing your mouth it is about taking in others actions or words thinking about them formulating an answer criticizing that answer searching for logic from your mind and reason from your heart and then convincing yourself that not saying the answer is better silence is not a sign of weakness it is a sign of intelligence and inner power it is a sign of faith that replying in the same manner that you were treated with will only make you just as ignorant learn to be an observer a deep one who reflects not only on his or her mistakes but also on the mistakes of others philosophy of life i am not better than you because of my religion color culture education status wealth etc i am not and neither are you i must accept and so should you that there are differences between us that we were born into why do we focus on these differences put your hand in mine and let us accept that our differences should not come in the way of us uniting for the basic human values that we share compassion peacefulness respect honesty innocence humbleness and sympathy does a baby born here smile differently from a baby born anywhere in the world do they cry any differently we may not speak the same language and we may not live the same lifestyle but a smile i can put on my face when i see you put a smile on your face before you can even think of it now that is powerful i hope that every sense of arrogance a greed in my heart is deviated to a sense of humility so the wall of ignorance to the real issues in the world can be shattered by the common rights that i share with all of my brothers and sisters in humanity invest your feelings wisely be careful what you invest your feelings in and don't expect people to care for you the same way that you do for them just because common sense says so The moment you decide to allow your feelings to move in a certain direction there is potential to lose control of them your feelings may even become your enemy through others hands that is why i say don't invest your feelings in things don't invest them in people don't be good considerate honest generous and compassionate to others because you are investing in them as people meaning because you can expect something in return if you do you will be and most likely you already have been brought to deep disappointment be good to people because you are investing in goodness consideration honesty generosity and compassion because those qualities have never failed to be rewarding treat people righteously because you are investing in the righteousness of yourself and trust me you will get something in return you will be happy you will be content you will be truly free forgive and forget it amazes me how we always remember how others have wronged us but we forget how we have wronged others we always tell ourselves to forgive but never forget here is my philosophy if you want others to forgive you for what you have done wrong to them then you should do the same some people need a second chance some people need to forgive themselves for wronging themselves and others you can be in the either situation we need to help others and ourselves by forgiving others and yes by forgetting the actions that they have done as individuals when you say never forget it shouldn't mean that you will never forget the person doing the mistake but that you will never forget the mistake that was done so that you will remember how it made you feel and never do it to someone else we all are humans we all make mistakes whether we are courageous and sincere enough to admit this is a different story if you want a second chance at being the person that you want to be then give that chance to others forgive people and forget that they have made certain mistakes but never forget the lessons that you have learned from the mistakes be content at any point in time we always want to either catch a future event to put it in the present or reach back into our past and change any event hoping that change will change our present we don't realize that this moment we are living now 
was at one point the future we wanted and will now become the past that we we may regret not living appreciating before we know it it's gone and it's too late to relive it why do we always want to change the order of events on our path why why do we not want to wait for the reason part of everything happens for a reason why do we always want answers at the time we ask questions we base our happiness on events that may happen in the future if this happens i will be truly happy what about now what about all of the things happening in your life now are they really not good or just not good enough reflect 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 don't be quick to judge how regretful or amazing your past was how good or bad your present is or how great your future will be be content with now anticipate a better rather than anticipating a good be true to yourself i may regret many things words i said words i didn't say decisions i made decisions i didn't make feelings i expressed feelings i suppressed people i listened to people i confided in questions i asked answers i gave promises i made promises i believed people i respected and people i neglected reflecting is essential but regret should not ground you in the past it should make you grateful that you have a conscious mind that realizes right from wrong it should give you strength to wisely use your present to make your future better it should free you if you don't stop judging yourself putting down yourself believing that this is as good as you can be then you have closed doors for yourself before they may even appear in front of you you've become a slave of your past don't expect to be who you want to be without being true to yourself and believing in yourself if you don't believe in yourself don't expect anyone to believe in you if you don't see the best in yourself don't expect anyone to see the best in you when you close a door do you turn back and stare at it and say i can't leave because this door is still closed in front of me think about it over analyzing kindness i often find myself wondering how people interpret kindness do they consider it as a sign of respect a sign of weakness a sign of happiness a sign of being naive it's interesting how good thing can be interpreted in so many ways other than itself these interpretations and analysis are hidden behind our inner need to justify others actions towards us to understand the why behind their actions they're based on our inner wants of what other people they're based on our inner wants of what other people's purposes are so we start conforming what we want their purposes to be with the things that they do the truth though is that there doesn't always have to be a purpose for people doing the things they do a smile can just be a smile a conversation can just be a conversation and an act of kindness can just be an act of kindness the vicious cycle of rudeness an important lesson that i had to learn over the years is that if i respond to people's rudeness to me by mistreating those who care for me then i have become like those who were rude to me in the first place what is the point of putting the people who are good to you down because of others putting you down isn't it a vicious cycle of people being victims of rudeness turn that negative energy that you receive from people into a positive attitude by appreciating the goodness around you it will bounce back to you and keep you going a smile is a beautiful human expression so when you receive it from someone don't return it with a frown but let your natural humane instinct kick in and smile back a heart that cannot feel it is easier to have eyes that cannot see those who deserve to be seen by you hands that cannot reach out to those in need of your help and ears that cannot hear those who deserve to be heard by you it is easier to hold back from uttering words to those who whose hearts can be comforted by your voice or to deliberately deprive someone of a happiness you know you're capable of giving it is all easier than having a heart that cannot feel it is all easier than having a heart that cannot perceive the pain that you may be causing others it is all easier than having a heart that cannot fear that it might be treated the same way some day by those who care you think you might deserve but not receive pamper your wishes when you make a wish believe 
that it is going to happen put it in your heart next to passion next to honesty next to honesty to yourself and others next to humility with yourself and others next to consideration for yourself and others next to believing in yourself and others and so that the wish will be the perfect gift when it is granted to you wrap it from the beginning with the bow of hard work and determination don't ever make a wish and leave it because it will leave you too if you can't do it do anything about it then start with your heart believe that you are worth that wishing coming true so that you can be worthy of it take responsibility just as you cannot deny that you can feel love and hate happiness and sadness anger and ease of mind or tiredness and relaxation you cannot deny that you have a fate that sometimes you can't control that doesn't mean that it takes control over you you, you cannot deny that you have worth and need to be spoken you cannot deny that you have a choice you cannot deny the ability that you can say no you cannot deny the ability that you have the freedom to make a decision and defend it you cannot deny justice when you see it unfairness when you feel it oppression when you witness it stop blaming the world around you for wronging you take responsibility for the nose you could have said but chose not to the words you could have said but didn't instead wrapping your mouth with your own words and remaining silent against what needed to be addressed take responsibility for the choices you could have made but restrained yourself from taking dream wisely imagine planting a little tree and anticipating its fruits day by day you give it everything it needs similar to what the tree needs to survive is what your dreams need to survive hope which spurs from a little event that we built a dream upon day by day second by second waiting for the dream to become a reality what happens if the tree of hope grows large yet no fruits are made what what if the fruits are damaged what if after all of that hope that you invested you discovered that there is no dream to begin with are you then left with a huge hope that you built on your own for nothing never be afraid to dream never be afraid to dream be careful not to let the roots of your dream dig too deeply into the ground of hope unless you've left enough hope to dream again in case the first dream disappoints you if you allow all your available hope to go towards one dream you will have to wait for that dream to wilt day by day second by second just as it grew and die on its own before you can make another one a dialogue with myself so you go on with your daily life interacting with people for the most part once the night settles its darkness upon you with that imaginary breeze tickling your eyelids softly causing them to causing them to helplessly close all you have is a confrontation with yourself are you who you want to be are you really who you seem to be there is no pretending here it is you having a heart to heart with yourself one thing we often miss is that when fooling others we are only fooling ourselves we have habits that we would rather live with than to get rid of we have unspoken words that we would rather keep hidden and rest than speak loudly and show a different side of ourselves if we don't work on changing that hidden side of ourselves it will surface one day regardless of how hard we try to hide it all i'm saying is before trying to be honest with others be honest with yourself don't be afraid to take risks and say what's in your heart don't risk losing what matters because of the fear of disappointment in yourself or in others happiness is in your hands when people's definitions of happiness differ the level of difficulty to reach that happiness also differs if happiness means means money or status to you then wait to pursue it but if it means seeing and appreciating what you have caring for your family seeing beauty in the simplest things then start now when you are doing that others will need something to keep them motivated to achieve their shallow goals of money or power they will envy you they will envy you for being so happy with so little people may befriend you for an ill purpose smiling back at you when you smile not out of happiness for your happiness but out of questioning how can they reach that happiness how can they take that happiness away 
This is what greed can do to people. Greed doesn't always have to be with money and it is even worse when it has to do with happiness because people start building their happiness on the misery of others and oh how hurtful and deceitful that can be at the end of the day be thankful for your health and family don't let any insignificant things or people get in the way of this aura of happiness that you choose to surround yourself with trust how many times have you told yourself that's it i'm never trusting anyone anymore then you go on you meet new people and you trust them sure enough eventually you go back to your initial realization that no one is trustworthy what is the true meaning of trust we need to evaluate our beliefs and redefine what we consider trust to be i'm sure i'm sure that for most people it means being able to tell someone your secrets whether they are about you or not and expecting that they won't reveal them to others that is called being able to listen and not repeat what you heard if that is your definition of trust then the solution is simple you need to aim to assess your purpose in speaking about yourself or others to anyone but yourself if someone is not trustworthy because you found out that they repeated something you said then how many people's words have you repeated without them knowing ask yourself what is my purpose before you say anything that you consider confidential that really is not the definition of trust think about it define it in your head take time to reflect where am i sometimes we think that we know what's going inside of people's hearts and minds and that we are certain we are certain of our thoughts and it makes sense because based on our experience with them we think that we know exactly the way they think as hard as we try to give others the benefit of the doubt as we feel that we need to protect ourselves from their harm by expecting them to be the same as they have been before that just makes it easier for us to perceive and understand and understand their new actions it's a safe feeling the slightest inflection in their voice can have so much meaning behind it the look that they have on their faces as they are saying or asking for something can tell us whether to read into their words or whether to take them just as they are the truth is that most of us are constantly challenged to be better than we are and we do try to fix our image to be the way that we want to be seen by those around us somewhere along the way of trying different things that we think will help change us we may be misunderstood to be trying too hard to be fake and to be different than that we really are compare this to the metamorphosis of a butterfly half way through it looks nothing like what it ends up being it is your choice to either stay halfway through or to continue your journey once you started you reach the destination of the person you know you can be a new language if my heart could speak it would need a whole new language to express the way i feel if my heart could create a piece of art artists could not handle the power of its feelings if my heart could sing composers would not be able to put together its symphony the softest ever made if my heart could smile it would flutter out of my chest and into my eyes to see the world with a touch of beauty and a hint of joy baby steps today promise yourself to be the best that you can know you can be at whatever you do celebrate the little steps and little successes that you have no matter how small you think they are no step towards your dream is too small those steps are like beginning of the storm of good things that will hit you starting with the little steps the raindrops fall slowly and softly don't expect to be an expert at whatever you do from day 1 be realistic be up for the journey prepare yourself for the victory by staying humble about your achievements delusion I wonder what's worse, disappointment in reality or feeling indifferent about whether reality changes you, whether reality changes or stays the same. Life never turns its back on you. You turn your back on yourself when you allow every closed door to stop you from moving on to the next one. Sometimes we choose to stand at a closed door and hope that it will somehow open, although that may defy logic. 
and although we may know deep down that no goodness will come out of it we wait we choose to wait we choose to have hope. we choose to have hope and we're always scared that the that the door will open the second we walk away we claim ownership over what we do not have and fear losing it although it really never was ours we read too much between the lines of hope that we weave into our minds imagination only to figure out at the end that we have woven a web of fragile hopes upon fragile hopes and just as with the spider's web once one thread is broken the whole web falls apart